I'll be completely honest with you, I did not expect any of that from this week's episode, not one bit. But it happened, and we're going to discuss it together. So let's deal with the simple things. This episode's horror beats were on point. Absolutely phenomenal. Arukini Mom was unhinged and completely terrifying. She really felt like a monster and not really like an empathetic being this week. From last week, somebody burning alive in the first few seconds to this week, someone having their brains eaten. The sound effects, the angles, the atmosphere, I think went perfectly according to plan for the Yumon Ghost game. So what about the episode itself? Well, the thread of the episode was very short because it starts with this human form, Arukeni Mon visiting hero, pretending to be his mother's friend. You're gonna make me act up. <laughs> you don't make me do something, I'm gonna regret. She is, you could say, the imposter. And she tricks Hiro and his friends, Kiyoshi were really into going to some abandoned mall. Once they arrive at the group get separated and then it's the chase scenes with I think like thousands and thousands of Dokugumon. She has this fascination with brains where she's even created a neural link between the technology within the area and her own webs. So she can see everything that's happening in the mall. It really is like a spider's nest. With the sheer amount of Dokugumon that were chasing them they inevitably get caught and Gammon is first up on the menu. Hero panics and starting to get rattled and out of nowhere Gammon's eyes open up to be completely black like in episode 13 and he evolves into Gullus Gammon of which Gullus Gammon kind of laughs off Arukenimon, sticks its hand inside of her mouth and blows her up from the inside out. I can't say I expected that. That took me completely by surprise. But what's more fascinating is in the aftermath of Arakenimon's death. And make no mistake that Digimon deserve to die. Gullus Gammon Hero actually have quite a sincere interaction. There is a particular scene of this episode where Gullus Gammon says now is not the time when Hero tries to reach out to Gullus Gammon. And I think, considering what comes immediately afterwards, that was quite sincere. Of Gullus Gammon, and I'm really trying to work out whether Gullus Gammon is going to be a villain or going to be more of an anti hero and kind of complicated friend and partner. Before Gullus Gammon tried to escape, whereas this time Gullus Gammon just reverts back to Gammon and just lets himself be caught, I suppose. The group weren't afraid of Gullus Gammon, Gullus Gammon wasn't aggressive towards the group. You know, it makes you think, what changed? But after Gullus Gammon reverts to Gammon, we see this image of a black Gargamon standing above all of them in the AR field, but they don't notice it. This is extremely akin to episode 13 when we saw black Agumon, and therefore, every time Gullus Gammon has appeared, a black variant of a Digimon has appeared. They have something to do with Gullus Gammon, clearly. But that is for a different video. But the real question is, how was this week's episode? This is a review after all. I think this week had the right amount of action, not that much action. Would I have wanted more? I don't think more action would have been that necessary. You really got the feeling of this episode that they were all Arukenimon's prey. And Arukenimon was just a real monstrous, grotesque spider, really. Like, it behaved like a spider would. So whilst the action wasn't all there, there was so much horror, like meaty horror stuff in it. It kept me so entertained. And then come the end of the episode, there was some pretty huge plot beats at the end, which was extremely rewarding, I feel. There is so much that can be speculated about the last aspects of the episode, of which I will save for a different time. Stay tuned though, I'm not going to make you wait for that. But this, again, was definitely one of the better episodes of Digimon Ghost Game, considering their initial plan. The very fundamental blueprint of Ghost Game is to be this softcore horror show to make you feel uneasy, and by the time the episode ends, you can breathe again, the pressure is lifted off of your shoulders. This episode really does that. You really felt like Arukenimon's prey, and I think they presented Arukenimon in a fantastic way. Extremely cunning, devious, evil, intelligent, but a real monster nonetheless. But everyone, what did you think of this week's episode? I personally really enjoyed it. Anytime I dedicate a lot of effort to the horror aspect and it carries through the whole episode, I'm always a big fan of that. The nice little handful we got of the plot at the end, I can always appreciate that. Please like the video as it helps other people find my review and it helps me grow as a channel. But I am immediately going to be working on a few more videos this afternoon. But if you made it this far, I really appreciate your time and most importantly, take care.